it's 2 a.m. Your alarm is set for 6, but you are still glued to your phone, endlessly scrolling through social media videos. Why can't you stop? The answer is dopamine trap. The invisible force that is turning us all into digital addicts. Stick around as we will discuss how modern tech is rewiring your brain and what can we do to break free. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Viren Karia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something that is probably affecting you right now, the dopamine trap. In our hyper-connected world of 2025, with social media feeds that never end and the games that reward you every 5 seconds, it's easier than ever to get hooked. But what exactly is this trap and why is it so powerful? Let's break it down. First of all, a quick science lesson. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter in your brain. Think of it as the feel-good chemical that gets released when you experience something rewarding like eating your favorite food or getting a hug. It is evolution's way of motivating us to seek out things that help us survive. But in recent years, tech companies have figured out how to hack this system for profit. The dopamine trap happens when apps and platforms deliver quick, unpredictable rewards that keep you coming back for more. It's like a slot machine in your pocket. Refresh the feed and you might get a like, comment or a viral video that makes you laugh. These hits spike your dopamine levels, creating a cycle of craving and satisfaction and that is hard to escape. According to experts, this is why social media use has skyrocketed with over 210 million people worldwide estimated to be addicted to social media and the internet as of 2025. Let's look at social media first. The king of dopamine traps. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok and X are designed with infinite scrolls, autoplay videos and algorithms that feed you content tailored to your taste. Every notification, a like, a share or a message triggers a mini dopamine rush. Remember the rush you get from seeing your post go viral? That is not accidental. In 2025, studies show that the average person checks their phone over 150 times a day. I'm repeating, 150 times a day, often the first thing in the morning and last at night, leading to what is called as doom scrolling, where you lose hours without realizing it. And it is not just adults. Teens are hit hardest. Research from this year links social media algorithms to addiction in adolescents with genetic factors making some kids more vulnerable to dopamine spikes from these endless feeds. Now shift gears to gaming, another massive culprit. Online games like Fortnite, Roblox or even casual mobile apps use variable reward systems. You never know when you will get that epic loot drop or win a match. This unpredictability is straight out of the behavioral psychology similar to gambling. A 2025 report highlighted how kids' video games incorporate gambling-like tactics such as in-app purchases and time-limited events to trap young players into spending more time and more money. Millions are addicted because winning a game or leveling up floods your brain with dopamine, making real-life achievement feel bland in comparison. In fact, mobile games are engineered for constant dopamine hits through. Streaks, daily rewards and social competitions turning playtime into an obsession. But it's not just social media and gaming. Think about streaming services with autoplay, online shopping apps that send flash sale alerts or even dating apps where swipes lead to matches. And of this exploit the same loop, anticipation, reward and repeat. So this is an exploiting loop. In 2025 with AI getting smarter, these systems are more personalized than ever, predicting what will hook you next. A recent neuropsychological study points out how tech overuse overstimulates dopaminergic pathways 
leading to compulsive behaviors that mirror traditional addictions so why should you care because the effects are real and damaging constant dopamine spice can desensitize your brain meaning you need more stimulation to feel the same pleasure ultimately burnout and anxiety mental health experts warn that this is stealing our focus making it harder to enjoy deep work reading or face to face conversations the productivity shrinks relationship suffer and sleep forget about it in 2025 survey over 60 percentage of social media users reported feeling anxious or depressed after heavy use plus for younger generations it is linked to shorter attention spans and even altered brain development any good news yes you can break free from the dopamine trap in the beginning start with awareness like track your screen time plus notice those urges and for parents please monitor your kids doing online gaming and observe any changes in their behavior after that try a digital detox but how let's discuss the first step in digital detox set up limits turn off notifications or designate no phone zones particularly during meals second step replace quick hits with slow dopamine activities like exercise reading a book or hobbies that build long term satisfaction third step mindfulness apps or therapy can help rewire your brain in conclusion the dopamine trap is product of our tech driven world but awareness about it is a need of time by understanding how social media and gaming hijack your brain you can take back control and live a more balanced life so if this topic has resonated with you subscribe for more insights about health and wellness and drop a comment what is your biggest dopamine trap see you next time bye bye